up y'all this your monday got coley here um this week's topic is tension between trans men i'm kind of disappointed because i thought it was the one for next week but i won't tell y'all what it is but um yeah so this topic um so i've been thinking about the wrong topic all day so um so this one is like about how trans guys hate on each other or how they're jealous of other guys changes or even that they're further along in their transition or like when they think like you know like if i was to look at a trend man be like that that's pre t or something be like oh you know your voice your voice not deep ha 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 like you know like stuff like that so um i guess my opinion i mean obviously my opinion is going to be like i don't understand why i hate you know what i'm saying like Everybody else hates us already. You feel me? We don't need to hate each other. That's like bottom line. We don't need to hate each other. You know, like we just need to come together. Like, why would you be mad if another dude started tea like a year before you? Like, God, I can't even give an opinion on this. Let me think. Um, like, all right. One thing I've seen is like a lot of guys that would hate on another guy's like transitional changes. Like they'll watch a voice update and be like, oh, you're trying to make your voice sound deep. Like, you know, like it's not, it hasn't gotten that deep yet. You're trying to make it sound deeper. Or um, I've heard, I've seen like guys with, you know, may do, may have good fitness bodies and other guys hate on that and I've seen that and I, I, I just don't get it you know I mean we're on the same community and we get judgment enough as it is I feel like we don't need to be hating on each other you know we just need to spread love and come together um, if we come together as trans men first thing we need to do is um, start standing up and protecting our sisters that, that's getting killed you know what I mean and then we come together and show people that we're human you know that we're people just like them and that we're not weird and that we're not confused or you know mentally ill we just need to come together and do that i don't think that you know honestly first of all you shouldn't be comparing yourself to another man's transition like period you shouldn't be comparing your man, yourself to any other man period like trans man biological man whatever like the only man you should be comparing yourself to is the one you were yesterday. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, uh, this, people are in different parts of their life. You feel me? Like, if you have a fitness goal, you can't be looking at that, you know, that dude that's been working out for three years and, and be getting down on yourself when you just started. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just started. He's three years into his journey. Let him do him and you do you. You got to stay focused on yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you should be comparing your voice to maybe maybe your voice is is deeper than it was last month but it's not deeper than than mine and you're mad because you want your voice to be deeper you should be happy with the progress you know what i'm saying don't don't be comparing yourself to nobody else to no other man and and just let him do him and you do you like stay focused on yourself i know that's something that's hard to do i know a lot of trans men especially like on Instagram or on this social media, I feel like the, the community is kind of small. Like, we all kind of follow the same guy. So, um, I know it's hard to, like, you know, when you see those guys with fitness results and it's kind of like, oh, man, and you look at yourself and you're like, damn, like, I, I, wish, I wish that was me, you know. But first of all, when it comes to fitness, you really got to stay consistent and you got to be patient. Like, bottom line, that's just... There's no rush in that. There's no, like, you just got to be patient. You got to work your ass off. There's no, like, half-assing anything if you want some real results. And um, second, as far as your changes and comparing that to people, the most important thing is that you're making progress every day with yourself. Maybe, of course, your voice, you're not going to notice a voice change every day, every second, every minute, every hour. You know what I mean? But what's important is that what, what's most important is that you're making sure that you're stable here I mean I think that it's about growing as a man I mean 
the changes will come within a year or, or two, you know, like one or two, three years, you know, the man that you're going to be in here and in here, that's not going to come in one, two, three years, you know what I mean, trying to figure that out, it's going to take a while, you know, because you're, you're taking on, even if you've already felt like a man, when you see how society starts treating you differently and you see like, and you start to see certain shit that you ain't see before because because you're like really living as a man. It's gonna take you a while to understand what type of man you want to be in this world, and I feel like that's more important than any change that happens with your voice or physically. You know what I mean? I mean, really trying to figure that out here. That's the most confusing part about the whole damn transition. You're like, oh shit, like okay, I want to be this type of man. How do I become that? How, what do I do? If I want to be this type of man, what do I do when I'm put into these type of situations? You know, how do I handle this? How do I act? You know what I mean? Like, that's probably been, like, one of the main struggles I've had, like, right now in my transition because, um, because, like, my changes, they're, they're cool. You know, I've, I've transitioned. I don't want to say I'm done transitioning. I don't, I don't really know how to, I don't want to say my transition is done, you know, but it's like, Okay, my voice is deep, I've got facial hair, and, and I'm passing, and you know, I'm just living my life happily the way the way I am. So it's not really about the transition and the changes. I'm not, you know, really excited about my voice getting deeper because I'm happy with it. I'm still thankful for it, but what's been like the most challenging thing now is is really trying to figure out the type of man that I am, the way I've been treated lately, you know, the way I mean, you know, of course, our transitions are going to be different depending on our race, how we look, and everything. I mean, transitioning into a black man in America, not really, you know, it's not, it's not really the easiest thing to do. You know, you get treated a little more harsh and people just, they just treat you, they just treat you fucked up, man. Honestly, excuse my language, but they do, you know, and, and that's going to play a part in developing who you are because you're going to start to understand why why black men may may have a certain anger within them, within them or a certain type of hostility or toughness that they have in society. You start to understand that and you start to, you know, have to mold your personality into how to maneuver within society, you know, how to still be a successful black man, um, how to be charismatic, how to, you know, just just function in America, you know what I mean, like, stuff like that, that's, that's, that's really what you need to focus on, it's not the topic of the video, the topic of the video is trans men hating on each other, how did I get so deep into this? Oh well, fuck it. I don't care. That was a good message. I should leave that in here. Um, but yeah, as far as trans men hating on each other, see, I got more on a tangent about that because that's what people need to focus on. Like, I can't focus on people hating on each other. Whether you're fucking trans, gay, bi, lesbian, whatever you are, straight, cisgender, pansexual, unicorn, horse, I don't know, whatever you are, you need to worry about yourself. You know, don't who cares about what other people are doing? Like, I just went off on a tangent. I hope that's not a problem. But that was something that I feel like is more important than worrying about what the next man is doing. Who cares? Like, really, you got to focus on yourself. You'll never be happy comparing yourself to other people. Because, to be honest with you, there's always going to be something better. There's always going to be a girl that looks better than your girl. There's always going to be somebody with a better house, somebody with a better car, with a better phone, somebody that looks better than you, somebody that has a better body, somebody that could do something that you can't, somebody that knows something you can't, regardless of if you're trans or or whatever that you call yourself. You know, like, it's not a trans issue. It's a person issue. As a person, I'd say... Focus on yourself and do you. You know, I just went off on a tangent and I just realized it, but I was speaking some real shit, so I don't think I'm gonna cut it out. But um, as far as trans men hating on each other, you know, we don't need to be hating on each other. That's not something like that's 
that's not gonna make anything better for you or for me or for any other trans man um our environment is small and it's kind of under attack and it's unknown it's either an ignored issue or it's an attack issue you know what i mean or it's unknown a lot of people still don't know what transgender is and with those three categories being unknown attacked or ignored we don't need to be coming at each other you know what i mean we just need to we need to come together if anything you know but we need to increase like our what is it called like non oh our security levels within ourselves because so many trans men are like super insecure and so into hiding their identity and ashamed of being trans and dropping the label i just feel like if we all shut up and drop the label then we're never going to get recognition then the next generation is never going to you know be able to God, bro, I cannot stay on topic today. I think this topic, I don't have nothing to say, bro. Like, okay, I'm gonna just end this video then, cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to preach to the choir, but I ain't got nothing to say about this topic. We don't need to be hating on each other. We people. All we need is love, man, for real. Love within our community. Love for everybody. You feel me? Like, we don't need to be hating. We don't need to be judging. Just focus on you, like, for real. I might redo this video, I might not. If you're watching it, obviously I didn't, but uh, this is Monday, I call you and I'm signing out. All right, in this video, I wanna give a quick shout out to Javion, who um, sent me a message today, and it really made my day, just telling me how it helped him by making these YouTube videos, and that he watched all my videos, and um, I really helped him out with his transition. Um, so, if you guys <clears throat> ever need anything, or ever have anything to say, just hit me up on Kick. Or on Instagram, my DM, and I'll for sure get back to you. Give me a shout out on the video, and it just makes my day. But if you ever got anything to tell me, just let me know and hit me up. Once again, shout out to Javon. I hope I'm saying your name right. All right, then y'all have a good day.